this, the last day of this hotel. I discovered something rather interesting. Um, if you have a an Android phone, it can actually be used as an electric shaver. Now, see, I'm getting a little bit beardy, so I've already downloaded the app. Yeah, let's give it a try. Wow, look, it's quite good. Didn't you? Pretty good shape, isn't it? I'm not making it up, look. Every time I grow my beard, I wonder what I would look like with a moustache. This is it. Pretty terrible, right? Time to shave it off. There. Pretty, pretty good. A little, little cut there, but not too bad for a phone. Um, the app isn't free. Anyway, I guess you guys won't need it until you, at least the boys, start getting beers, but uh, yeah, worth trying. Jinbu Station. Just going to head back into Seoul. And rather pleasingly, they've got board games available in the station shop. Let's have a look at what they got. Go go. Gelado. Oh, gelato. So I think this game you, you take a card and then you have to change around the ice creams till you made the right one. It was quite good. This one is called Ori Yuchi One. Something about ducks. This one is Dok Dok. Don't exactly. Can't really figure out how to play that. This looks like a puzzle. Touchdown. It's got English instructions. Looks a little bit like checkers. Cannon Buster. This looks wicked. A pirate game. I might get this. Ecomon, Ecom, Ecomon. Can't really figure that one out. Pick me up, layers. Could be good. Also got English instructions. Gonna make patterns. Looks a little bit difficult. Fold it. Holding up paper to make food. And crazy eggs. Now this one, I think you have to roll a dice. And then that tells you what you have to do with the eggs. That looks quite fun. I think I'm going to go with Cannon Buster. feel that as children you often have to do things you don't want to do well grown-ups too right now I'm in Myeongdong on a street that sells makeup and clothes it's the most boring street I think I've ever been on in my life look makeup 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 Clothes, clothes, hair, clothes, clothes, makeup, 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 makeup.
This is Frankie's Magic Football, The Great Santa Race by Frank Lampard, illustrated by... Huh, by... Uh, hmm, not sure. Uh, ah, here it is. I don't know if you can even see that. It's so small. Uh, illustrated by Luella Wright. So first of all, I need to say that Frank Lampard is a football player. He played for Chelsea Football Club and he played for England several times. He's regarded as being one of the best midfielders that ever played for Chelsea. So it seems sensible that he would write some books about football. Now normally I try to read books that are the first books in the series, but I couldn't find book number one of this series. Um, so I started with this one, which is a Christmas book, and as it's Christmas time, I thought that was appropriate. However, that does mean that the story is a little bit difficult to understand. It seems that Frankie is a young boy, and he has a magic football, but quite what this magic football does, I'm not entirely sure. In this book, his brother kicks it over the house of his neighbour, and it hits a penguin Christmas decoration on the head and then this penguin comes to life and starts going around causing trouble in their town and also Frankie's brother disappears so it's a little bit confusing but who cares because it's about football and football is good fun and I know that some of you listening to this really really love football the English is really not difficult at all and it's not too long a book. I really recommend this for anyone who loves football and uh, doesn't want to get stuck into a long and difficult book like Coraline, for example.